Hi, in this video I will show you how to convert a YAML file to HTML with application I created. This is my website, I will leave link to description. To download the app, I double click on the load button and wait until file will be downloaded. Then I click on archive, double click on MSI, click on more info. I'm getting the screen because I'm not registered publisher. You can see publisher unknown. I will click, click run anyway. Uh, to start installation, click on next, next install. Click on yes. And click on finish. You can see new shortcut has been created on my desktop. I can close this and minimize this. Uh, I click on shortcut to double click on shortcut to open application. Now conversion is like three steps process and first step I will select input file, uh, select this file. Uh, this is a list of uh, state US states into YAML format. Then I click on next step. Now I can select uh, which way, uh, in which format uh, I want HTML file to be. So, for example, like flat file format, it's when uh, all YAML will be flattened into table with all data in it as a rows. Cards format, it uh, will be like more um, like cards. Every card contains record with all fields. Like I can show you, for example, let's select first flat format. Click on next step, run conversion. Now output and select yum to HTML uh, table, right? Table. Save, then check option to cards um, and run and select name the result of HTML file, second result HTML file card. Click on save and you can see file two files created. Now I can go into my folder and show you the files. So first is cards file. You can see like every record has data as separated card with ID name. So for example, if you have a different YAML file, you will have every every data set from YAML in this format. So uh, let's see a uh, table format of the YAML. So here you can see every every um, YAML property of the records will be flatted in the table and you will see like uh, the whole table in it. So yeah basically that's it. Uh, please give it a try and let me know if it works. Uh, thank you.